Is it weird that I'm still in love with him when he's a girl? <laughs> no. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video and a couple of weeks ago, I think it was like two weeks ago now, I did my first ever Sims 4 gender bend challenge, which is where I took four of my main series characters and I basically changed their gender and tried to see how they would look if they'd have been born as the opposite gender. Just a little bit of fun and we actually ended up with a character that we've now added to the series, which is Ash. Who is now technically Asha's cousin. Kind of weird since they have such similar names, but she looks so good. As the opposite gender that I'm like, I have to add her. I also thought that little Ryder as a girl looked absolutely amazing as well. So I'm like, I really want to do this challenge again. Basically just because it's so fun. So what I've done is I've got myself another four Sims to do in today's Gender Bend Challenge. Again, I've picked two girls and two boys. I have picked siblings Charlie Rose. Who I always forget is actually Charlotte Rose. Like, that always freaks me out when I see that. So, Charlotte Rose and Connor Rooney. And then we've also got Abel because last time I did Lilith. And I'm kind of interested to see how my most favorite sim of all would look as a reverse gender. This is still um, teen Abel rather than adult Abel as well. So, he still actually has that PTSD trait. And then we've also got Roxy because I figured last time we did Jesse. So, why don't we do Jessie's other half, Roxy, this time and see how she looks as well. So if you guys are excited for this challenge, please let me know in the comments below. Give it a little cheeky thumbs up if there's any other sims you'd like to see. If you want me to do this challenge again or do some other sims, let me know as well. I'm quite keen to do like Kira and Anthony. I think those guys would be an absolute ton of fun. So I really want to do those guys. And hopefully you guys want to see more of these challenges because I personally, this is my favorite challenge to do. So the basic premise is I will change their gender on here. But the one thing I do is I try and keep their eyes and their skin the skin details, obviously it varies a little bit between boys and girls, but I'll try and keep those as similar as possible. And then just for consistency, I'll keep their hair color, any tattoos, and I'll try and at least have their clothing looks to be quite similar. So for example, Charlie Rose kind of has quite sort of a, uh, she dresses quite well. Like she's a beautician, she cares a lot about her appearance. And so she dresses very smartly, very elegantly. So a male Charlie, who we can actually keep as being called Charlie as well, I imagine would do the same. So. Charlie Rose is up first. So with Charlie Rose, I'm just gonna have to make sure she has the mega eyes here, the last one on the mega eyes. And then I personally think her skin details are female only, but I will try and get this kind of beautiful soft look. Here is how she looks without it. So I'll try and keep something that, she looks quite made up and quite button nosy, so I will try and get something that does that as well. So guys, here we go. I'm first gonna change her name. Um. She would be Charles, I guess, but I'm just gonna keep her as Charlie. Maybe Charlie Roy, because that's kind of like Rose. Charlie Roy. And let's go ahead and gender bend. Pachow! Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's made her quite different. Let me just check on her eyebrows as well. We should try and keep her eyebrows very similar. So this is the eyebrows. N17. Okay. Buy a fire yourself, friend. Okay, so let's just go ahead and get off what it's put on her. Take off that little facial hair. The eyebrows are probably going to be the easiest to so just straight up put back on. And 17, so where are you, my friends? Seriously, where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay, so the eyebrows are back. And then the eyes she had were, of course, our mega eyes, and they were the last ones. So starting to get a little bit more of a Charlie Parley look about things. She would look quite, she's quite kind of like moon chinny as a guy. Okay, let's let's just leave it as that. And then I really wish that the skincare was like, uh, would, would do this. You'd, you'd be able to apply the same skincare no matter what gender, but unfortunately you cannot. So let's have a quick look at any that looks sort of similar. Cause that one's giving me kind of similar vibes. That one is quite makeupy. So I've got to say that one again, quite similar vibes. I'm also aware that some of these I, I just, look how much clothes it's put on her, by the way. Some of these are gonna have when I take the clothes off. There you go, the boobies. No, we can't be having the boobies. Which is annoying because that one's more or less bang on, isn't it? I'm kind of sort of tempted for this skin. I think that's looking pretty good. I'd say Charlie Rose, even when she's like worked out a lot, she's she's kind of still kind of a thicker kind of girl in a great way. Like she's got a great bod. And she's kept the kind of thickness as an adult, as an adult, <laughs> as a male as well. Like she's a bit more of like a chunky, but in a good way. Like buff, but like, you know, just kind of cuddly as well. Like, I like that about her. Her? And now him as Char Charlie Roy. Kind of a strange name, I know. Let's give um him his eyelids. 
eyelashes back. I'm kind of excited. I'm kind of cautiously optimistic about Charlie Roy. <laughs> okay, so we've we've kind of got the first two. I'm kind of the temptation to go with a slightly thicker brow is quite high. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. We could let N19 it up a little bit. Like she just bulked her eyebrows. He's just bulked his eyebrows out a tiny bit. Because that's N17, that's N19. I don't know if that's kind of a correlation or not, but I'm kind of pretending it is. Oh, there's a middle ground. Oh, they're beautifully shaped. Beautifully shaped eyebrows. <laughs> Let's keep the 17s for now. Pop some hair on and then decide afterwards. So we kind of want whatever it is to keep that, like, red hair. So that could be an option. As could that. As could this. Okay. I don't know why, but certain hairs give me more Charlie Rose vibes. And that one's giving me quite Charlie Rosie vibes. Like, that color is almost identical. And you can kind of imagine that that was her fringe, but she's kind of just fluffed it up a little bit instead. I like that. I like that a lot. I do think I'm gonna go for a slightly thicker brow, just just as like, just because, really. I just think that he suits a thicker brow. And I might give him a little bit of facial hair too. Okay, so this is a little comparison so far. We've got Charlie Roy, and we've got Charlie Rose. So I think we need to move, I'm checking, she, she actually does have her ears pierced, she has these little stars in there. So maybe I should give him his ears done too. I don't know why there's no option for a single piercing when it comes to the ears. I find that kind of strange, they're all like double piercings. But I'm just gonna go ahead and give him some piercings, because she's got her ears pierced. So he needs his done too. So now we need to get him suited and booted. And I'm kind of thinking we need to be keeping that sort of like quite classy kind of style for him so maybe like a nice little shirt like so or a beautiful little turtleneck number but she's got on like a red top so we could do like the same color so like a red little turtleneck with his red hair is kind of hilarious and then she's got on like a beigey skirt so i got a few different like i could give him like those trousers or those trousers or like these trousers but in a beige mm. They ain't really working for me, I've got to say. That's actually, like, so bad, it's hilarious. I think those ones are probably the best match. And then she's got on just some little pumps, sensible for work, so we can do something similar for him. She's on her feet all day as a beautician, so, you know, she's got to be sensible with her footwear. We can just give him some little pumps as well. And then the other thing she has is jewellery, but you're not really going to be able to see that with his version. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to see it on either his neck or his hands. The other option would be to give him like a shirt. I can't, I couldn't give him a red shirt, but you know, I could always just give him a black shirt. Or I could maybe give him this jumper instead. And then I can give him little bracelets and stuff. Okay guys, I think we have it. So we have the OG, Charlie Rose, daughter of James and Selma, which were my first son in game. The little Charlie Parley Rosarino with a pretty good bum, it has to be said. And then this is male Charlie Rose. Let me know what you guys think, Charlie Roy. Do you think he's cool looking? Do you think she doesn't really quite work as a guy? Let me know in the comments below. I'm pretty happy with him, but I do think Charlie Rose works a little bit better as a boy, as a girl, as a girl. <laughs> okay, on to the next one. So the next one is little Connor Rooney, who's very laddie. He's such a lad, and he actually had the trait of wanting to try and have as many romantic interests as possible, which led to me having to break up with seven girls in one day. Thanks, Connor. So let's see how Connor is going to look as a girl. So Connor has freckles. I know exactly which eyes those are as well. He has these little frecklerinos here, and he has this Hydra skin overlay. And there's actually a female version of that, so I'm pretty excited about that. And then my favorite eyebrows as well, N11s. That seems pretty easy to follow. Let's go ahead and girly fight Connor. Pachow! Okay, 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 okay. I'm thinking Connor is gonna make a really good looking girl. Just calling it. I'm literally just calling it already. He's gonna be a beautiful girl. Wait, did I say N11s? Yeah. N11 brows for you, my friendo. Oh my god, Connor's gonna be an actual babe. I can just feel it. I can just feel it already, and now all the reason these girls couldn't stop falling for him is gonna make sense. Because apparently I see that when he's a girl, but not when he's a guy. Can't really explain that one. So I think his eyes are these ones here. Yeah, they are definitely his eyes. And then let's go ahead and pop on the Hydra skin, which is this one here. And then let's pop on his little freckles. Which freckles do you have, Connor Rooney? So he has on the very first ones. Okay. So let's freckle you up, my love. There you go. Starting to look super Connor. Connor, I think, can be a girl's name as well. But just so it's different, I'm going to go for Chloe. 
I love the name Connor, but I'm quite a fan of like Irish Irish names, obviously, with the whole Clash of On thing going on. <laughs> And then what kind of hair should we give her? It's kind of give her like mid-length hair. I was kind of tempted to just use the same hair. But I think it's interesting if, if you mix them up a little bit more. So they do look a little bit different. But just for reference, here is how she would look with short hair. Still very cute, but I kind of want to try something quite different to OG Connor. I'm in love with this hair at the moment, by the way. This is like, it's a Nightcrawler. If you search Nightcrawler on Sims Resource. I'm just really, really digging that hair at the moment. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh, I'm kind of liking female Connor more than male Connor. Oh man, she's super pretty as a girl. I think I want to go for a hairstyle that is like super, super innocent and cute looking. Because Connor is the complete opposite of that. He's definitely not innocent and cute. I think it would be cool if like the female version of him is the complete opposite of him. I'm kind of feeling this one just because Connor's hair to me looks like it's got natural waves to it. So if he grew it out, I'm kind of feeling like it would grow out quite wavy. So I'm kind of feeling like that would be a good like female version of his hair. I don't think we've got her eyelashes on her yet. So can we go ahead and pop some beautiful lashes on her? The eyelashes are bending strangely, but I think it's because her eyes are so big. I think female Connor would wear just a little touch of eye makeup just to accentuate those big beautiful eyes. Oh man, I'm kind of a bit like I love female Connor. I'm kind of a bit obsessed with her. Although she's starting to look like a proper little slayer now, isn't she? <laughs> little Chloe. Okay, so Connor style, this isn't a good representation because we actually got rid of that outfit and kept him in this one. So Connor dresses like pretty streetwear for a guy, like with his little supreme big jumper on and a necklace. I, let's try and figure out what the girl equivalent with that would be. I'm not very good at like girl streetwear. I'm better at like boy streetwear. I'm kind of feeling like that is a pretty good girl version though. At least of his jumper. Or maybe like this kind of a thing. That's pretty cool. Oh my god, it's still got Connor's hair! <laughs> get it off, get it off! There we go. She had Connor's little snail trail. <laughs> okay, and then just some little genie beanies. Although this is cool because you can see what Co female Connor's bod would look like. I, I think she's still got Connor's shoulders. I do think she's kept Connor's shoulders. And I also think she looks like she'd be really, really tall. Like she's, she is beautiful. What kind of jeans does Connor have? Are they like ripped? Yeah, like ripped jeans. Okay, I know I said I was gonna make her opposite, but actually just making a pure female Connor. Turns out that's a lot more fun. Okay, I'm definitely getting the vibes that she would be just as much of a button as Connor is. I'm just getting those vibes and I kind of love that. She started off so innocent, so innocent, but she was not. So Connor's necklace is just like this little, little one here. Let's see if we can get just like a singular pendant one. But I'm kind of vibing this. I am kind of vibing that pretty hard. Okay, guys, so I think this is done. I think this is Chloe Connor. Like, to me, she literally looks like she'd be about 5'11". I I'm just getting those vibes from her. And she also looks like she would slay just as hard as Connor. Like, literally, look at him. He is a cool, he's a good looking guy. Like, and he, he knows it. He definitely knows it. And I'm kind of feeling like Chloe is actually exactly the same. Let me know what you think of her in the comments below. I like her a lot, but I feel like she would have been just as much trouble as little Connor is. Okay, on to the next one, hooray! So this is My Little Ablerino, probably my favorite sim I've ever, ever had in the series. And also genetically shares no DNA with the original Claire and Ali because he is Max and Elsa's child. Elsa died in a fire. You have to watch the series because we're not making any sense. So this is beautiful, pretty little uh, Abel, but will he be pretty as a girl? It is time to find out. So Abel's style as well is kind of very casual. Very much just like little jerseys, little um, shirt, uh, shirts tied around the waist, little slightly ripped jeans and little vans. So very casual style and also both ears pierced. Black hair. Pink eyes, I know, a little bit strange, but pink eyes. Then this eyebrow right here. Okay, I have to try and find this one again. And then he uses this Hydra skin overlay. So I think we'll be able to do the exact same one as a girl. It'll be the same one actually that Connor had on. Connor and, and Abel have the same skin. You would never know, they look so different. It's kind of the stuff I like about this game. And he also has a shine on his nose. That's the only other thing he has. Okay. Time to femaleify Abel. <laughs> and also, what's a color? Oh my gosh. Female Abel has huge lips. 
Wow, I never realized a Abel's lips are so huge. What can we... We can call her Abby instead of Abel. So Abby. It's kept her eyebrows and her eyes, which makes things a lot easier. I'm just going to get rid of that hair. Uh <laughs> the lips are insane. The lips are actually insanely huge. I guess he's like half Latino and half Swedish. I don't know how that ends up in that lip combo, but apparently it does. Okay, so Skin details are on. This is the ones that Abel- you can tell that's the one that Abel uses. Then eyelashes need to go on. I'm I'm seriously thinking about shrinking that those lips because they like- they don't even look like they're fitting on her face properly. Let's give her some pretty eyelashes. And then she has a nose shine. What the hell? You can't even see the nose shine. I don't think it sits on top of the female skin, only the male skin, the more you know. Let's just pop a little bit of makeup on her. <laughs> it's only like lip reducing makeup. I am getting a little bit of Lilith vibes, but you can actually tell that they are definitely like, they do look a little bit different to each other because Lilith as a boy didn't really look at the end very much like Abel. Okay, if I put those lips on her, at least like it looks like her lips are open a little bit. Also, I'm not feeling these these cheeks. It kind of looks like, I don't know, some, she's fallen off a bike and she's got road rash. Abel's children are, are gonna have super huge lips, aren't they? What what makeup shall we give you, Abel? Abby. <laughs> Those are, that's accentuating her eyes. Okay, I like that makeup. There we go. A little bit of little bit of uh, color on the cheeks as well. Okay, so <laughs> I will give her hair. I just want to make sure that she's not accidentally kept any fate. She hasn't kept accidentally any body hair. And this is how uh, Abel's body would look as a girl. You can actually tell from this that Abel and Connor have totally different bodies. Okay, hair. What hair shall we give you? Has to be black. I see I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit of a Lily vibe, but not very much. Oh wow, she really suits that hair. But that hair has already been taken by Chloe. Okay, I'm vibing that. That's really cute. She actually much, much looks... <laughs> she looks much, much better with short hair. So I think I'm gonna go for a short haircut for her. Oh, that looks pretty fierce, you know? Oh my gosh, that's the hair that we gave um, Lilith as a, as a boy. Actually looks great on Abel as a girl. And she actually looks amazing with really short hair. Oh, I wanted to try on Abel's hair on her, but it's not an option. She does look pretty fierce with that hair. Man, I could just put hair on Sims all day long. I'd never get bored of this. It's so fun. I wanted to <gasps> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. This is female Abel with Lilith's hair. They are the same person. That is actually insane. That is actually insane. I almost am kind of tempted to say female Abel looks better as Lilith than Lilith does. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I think Lilith's got a better bod though. That has actually shocked me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry Lilith, but Abel's a better Lily for her sometimes than you are. Is it weird that I'm still in love with him when he's a girl? <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna go for this hair. Like, I've let him- he's got black roots, but I kind of feel like he's gone for pink ends just because. And then you need your earrings. You need your earrings, my love. And Abel's earrings. I might have to make it so I can see masculine options. Oh, I don't know if you can have them for girls. I can't give him the same earrings for a girl. So what I'm gonna do is just make... <gasps> I can't even make those ones black. Like, look, he has these like little black... Oh, they are black. Currently, they're black with the little ball underneath, but... Since they're not at the moment, I'm, I feel pretty confident I just leaving them with these ones instead. Boom, there we go. Okay, so now on to the dress. It's actually quite casual and comfy sort of dress. I'll try and replicate that. So I was thinking that could be quite a good girl version of what he's wearing. Like the sort of sportsy sort of top. And then we need ripped black jeans. I think these are pretty good versions of those jeans. They're looking pretty good. And then I need the top tied around the waist. My God, she's tiny. I think that's the same color. Yep, looking pretty identical. And then just the little vans now. There we go. And does Abel wear jewelry? Hmm. He doesn't actually wear a necklace or anything anywhere else. So that is Abel to Avi complete. And I actually love her so much. She's so pretty. Okay, I'm actually gonna switch out her top slightly to that one. The other one was just a little bit too blue. So that is how Ava looks as a girl. I'm still completely in love with him, you guys. My love for, a for Ava goes across all genders and all ages and all bloodlines also, apparently. <laughs> 
that is the girly whirly version of Abel Abby. I was a bit worried at first, but I think using the lips with the teeth in the middle kind of takes out some of the lips a little bit. It does look a little bit scary when she smiles because it means she's got two sets of teeth. But still, I, I'm a pretty big fan. I think I like her a lot. Okay, on to our final sim, which is little Roxaroo. Now, Roxaroo is an interesting one. Because she is technically set as a girl. However, Roxy is able to get other sims pregnant because of course she got Jessie pregnant. So I'm gonna just quickly change her into a boy. Oh wait, we need to look at her things. Eyebrows are N87. I know which eyes they are because they're the same ones that Kira has. She's got a skin tone that only women can have. So we're gonna have to work around that a little bit. Mega eyes are the ones she's got. These ones here. Okay. And then pinky kind of hair. Although Roxy's had like every hair color going so we could even easily play with that if we wanted to. And then of course, Roxy has tattoos. In fact, can I go ahead and just take off her skin for a moment so I can show you her tattoos? So these are Roxy's. So take off her skin. Oh my gosh, take off her clothes. These are Roxy Roo's tattoos. She's got both legs done. She's got the chest done. She's got sleeves on both arms and she's got a thigh tattoo, which uh, Jessie actually has a matching version of. They got it when they got married. So Let's change her into a boy. For ciao. Okay, this is what we're starting with. It's kept some of her, her tattoos, which is great. Just go ahead and pop the right eyebrows and stuff on. But yeah, you guys often um, say to me, like, make a transgender sim. And my hold back on that is, I think it is, like, such a... They're not right. Is it those ones? I think that that would be such a storyline that you really... To get right and to do it justice, you would need to have some kind of world, like, real world experience, which I just don't. Otherwise, I'd just be kind of appropriate in the whole thing just for use on my channel. And I don't think that's the right thing to do. I kind of almost feel like if a, a transgender storyline to be done well needs to come from somebody that's experienced it. Just to properly show that kind of journey and those emotions, you need to be somebody who's a little bit more in the know. But then I was also kind of thinking, if Roxy presents as a girl, but is able to get Sims pregnant, then technically, I know it's Sims, so you can play around with that stuff, but technically that sort of kind of makes her a boy. So I don't know, you can kind of take from that what you will and kind of decide yourselves what that means. At least in my head, that means it's not quite as easy and simple as, you know, Roxy's a girl that could just make other Sims pregnant. That's kind of not how things work. Maybe there's a little bit more to Roxy's storyline, you know? Just my take on it, you guys. Oh, oh my God, what have I just done to her? <laughs> I've, I'm noticing a theme on my Sims. Everybody has huge lips. How did I not realize that this was a thing? Okay, so I think I'm gonna go for this Hydra skin for the male Roxaroo. And then, does Roxy have piercings? I actually can't remember. Oh, yes, she does. She has a little nose piercing. Do you have your, your ears done as well? No, you don't have your ears done. I'm gonna give her a nose piercing, although I'm kind of tempted to make it like a, a full ring. But I, I guess I should leave it as a nose, right? Make it more uh, authentic. Homegrown. Also, what am I gonna call it? Roxy? I think we change her name from Roxy to Rex. Rex! Although I kind of want to spell it like Final Fantasy um, 12, so Rex. <laughs> and then I'm kind of vibing facial hair again. There we go. And then the hair. So, like, Roxaroo's had so many different hairs. Like, literally anything would work. Although it might finally give me the opportunity to use this cool hair here. With a little bit of a... <gasps> Yes, you guys! I'm liking that! I'm liking that! Okay, okay, so let's let's double check the tattoo coverage. Because we know it needs to be- Okay, it's kept the chest, it's kept the arms, it's kept the back. The only thing it hasn't kept is a leg tattoo. Which apparently you can't put on boys anyway, so never mind. And then Roxy's style? Uh, I mean, there it's kind of leather, skinnies, and a top. But she's kind of a little bit rock chicky, so I think we do something similar for Rex. Let's make him med medieval. <laughs> oh my god, Abel style. I want something that keeps his tattoos on show. Although I'm kind of vibing the street where he's sort of vibe on him. I think that looks really cool. I don't know why he's got those boots on. He's looking very Kanye with those boots on, actually. Oh my god, Kanye. <laughs> Let's just stick his bracelets on while I'm deciding. That's the bracelets that I believe Roxy wears. More or less identical. And then I... I I'm, let me just have a look at the top. I do really, really like that, though. But the other thing I was thinking is like like this kind of a thing. But I think I prefer the other one more. Because if I put like a coat on him like Roxy, you're not going to be able to see his tattoos. So I don't want to do that. Maybe like that so there's a little bit of color. 
So that is Rex, which is male Roxy. I think he looks really, really cool. And I actually also think Jessie would have been just as interested in him. Male Rex as she would have done female Roxy. I like him. I like him a lot. I think he's really cool. From this, which is female Roxaroo. She's a pretty badass lady, isn't she? To Rex, who also like looks so natural and amazing too. I mean natural as in like he looks right. Not as in like, cause obviously his, his, his dad's hair pink, which you ain't born like that, are you? And you also, he's got all his tattoos and stuff, but I really, really like him is what I'm trying to say. So we've gone from Charlie Rose, to Charlie Ray, who I think didn't work. I think that one's the worked the least well. And then we've gone from Connor, Connor Rooney, to uh, Chloe, who again, still slaying, has also, both of them have got James's massive eyes. And then we've gone from Heartthrob, beautiful sim 2017 and 18 so far, Avel, to actual bombshell abby who i am just as in love with and then finally we've gone from roxy jet to little rex who also i kind of i'm in love with this transformation as well so you guys are gonna have to let me know which of these four you think has had the most successful gender bend i personally think it's between rex and um sorry between abby and rex however I'm kind of leaning towards Abby, but I do think Rex is really, really cool. So you guys are going to have to let me know which ones you prefer in the comments below. If you want me to do another gender bend, let me know as well. And let me know which sims you would like to see gender bended next. Chloe, uh, sorry, Kira and Anthony are definitely on that list because I want to see those two. But if there's another two you want to see, I kind of want to see Jamie Street as a girl. Just putting it out there. So maybe you guys suggest the other one. We will do another gender bend challenge. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little challenge. And also let me know what you think about the Roxy theory that I talked about as I was making her character on the whole transgender thing. And if you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a little cheeky thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in another one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.